I had a good friend of mine I grew up with named Dolores Glenn. Uh, she and I lived in the same neighborhood. Um, and uh, she knew my affinity for playing piano and, and music. And uh, she said, hey, I got this friend I go to high school with. We went to different schools. And uh, at her high school, she had this friend of hers. She said, listen, you got to meet this guy, Chris. I mean, I think you and him would hit it off. He's a He's an excellent percussionist. The boy plays drums like crazy. You know, you play drums where you play piano. You guys would hit it off. And it just so happened one day I'm in the uh, local music store. I heard some music um, coming and it moved me. So as a drummer, you know, and percussion and all that, I jumped in. I get up and I walk into the drum room and I see this guy standing in front of the drum machine. And I looked at him and I said, you must be Chris Thomas. You're definitely Keith Griffin. So... Um, and I, I just need to, uh, I need to give big shout out and big praise to, uh, and thanks to Dolores Glenn for planting that seed in his ear and in my ear that we need to hook up because it's been 30 plus years of uh, friendship and brotherhood. We'd always dreamed of starting a business together, starting a label together. Well, he actually took it and started putting action steps together, writing up all kind of you know, specs, and, and he's a logistical genius. So he used his logistical background, and when he came back home uh, from overseas, one of the campaigns, one of the wars, he actually had put the foundation of Ashley Breeze music together on paper. Had everything figured out from the equipment. I mean, you think about anything logistical that you would need to build a business, Chris put together, because he saw this as a dream of ours. And more importantly, he saw uh, as a as a, saw it as a dream for me to be able to take my talent that I'm blessed with and actually put it at a larger scale. Like he always told me, he said, "Man, I just want to be able to help you take your talent and have the world hear it." He said, "I don't care, you know, I don't play, I don't do this, I don't do that, but I know how talented you are." So this was actually a dream of ours, but brought to fruition uh, through God and uh, by Chris. Keith is a monster. He, uh, um, he's a monster where music is concerned. His heart, mind, and his soul is just um, insurmountable. Um, it, I don't know where it comes from. Uh, let me pause. It, it, I know where it comes from. You know, God blessed him with the gift of music. I uh, started actually, first time I put my fingers to ivory, so I was probably about six. Um, just was drawn to the keyboard, drawn to the piano. Um, kind of want to be like my older brother, Mark, and uh, I wasn't able to take lessons at the time, but I kept hearing notes in my head. And so I just started. Uh, one day I just walked up to the piano. Matter of fact, I might have been a little younger than that because I remember the piano not being keyboard, uh, my head being about the same height as the keyboard. I got up on the bench and started playing chords and playing stuff in my head, and uh, that was the beginning of me playing, especially playing by ear. Pretty much whatever I hear, I could, I could pretty much play. Um, I'm hearing music all the time. Keith and a whole bunch of guys we used to get together and I see him record and I always want a copy. I'm like, man, it should be on the radio. You should have this. I, I couldn't wait to hear the next thing. So I would always ask Keith and Keith would always give me a copy. You know, wherever we were, whatever he was recording, whoever he was with. So um, over 30 plus years of music I have uh, on cassette tapes, some CDs. Um, and he, over all this time I've known him, he's never repeated one song. I took lessons for about a year and a half, that was it. I mean, I didn't really take to lessons too much because I wanted to play what I heard on the radio. And at the time, when you're taking traditional lessons, you can only play what's in the books. And it wasn't moving fast enough for me. So I kind of just fell off with the lessons and started you know, playing what I heard on the radio. Yeah, and it's mind-blowing for me that Music can flow out of one person the way it flows out of him. Uh, it's, it's just, it's just unique. So, I, I tend to be the unofficial historian to keep, you know, keep tabs on that because everybody said demos, but Keith did more than demos back in the day, even up to now. Tomorrow, I see uh, the label as being a label that is one that uh, has a very diverse catalog and diversity built from parting up with very talented people. You know, one of the things that we wanted to do in Ashley Breeze Music is, is be an outlet for people who have great talent, 
but don't quite have that person that's willing to bat for them, that person that's willing to say, hey, we believe in you, we, we see something that you may not see in yourself, and we want to be that conduit. So I see Ashy Beats Music as being a place where people can come and enjoy all types of different music and actually have music produced by very talented people. And uh, we, we just want to heal the world one song at a time.